So guys, since it's summer at the moment, I decided that the star of today's layering episode is going to be the note of coconut and I will share with you top three of my most favorite coconut centered fragrances that I like to wear together. And the weather is not really great, it's not super hot, so these fragrances will really create summery beachy vacation mood. If you like this note, make sure to keep on watching because you'll probably learn about some new coconutty fragrances for yourself from this video. But even if you're not the biggest fan of this note, which I can totally relate on, still watch this video because it's not your typical coconut selection and uh, before we get started i would like you to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time and if you like watching my layering episodes in which i show you how i like to combine fragrances together make sure to give it thumbs up and once you're done with that let's get started with our coconut combo and welcome back. I'm really excited to talk about coconut in this video, but I want to make clear that it's not my best of episode, you know, in those videos I create whole top lists that are dedicated to a specific note. Today we are gonna talk about only three gorgeous fragrances with coconut. So without further ado, please let me know how you feel about coconut. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I know that it's not for everyone and I can tell you that I'm not the biggest fan of coconut, but when it's done right, oh my god, it's so beautiful. So, on that note, I want to get started with coconut perfume oil, and it's from the Arabic brand Mason Anthony Marmin, with whom I have an amazing interview on my IGTV, so make sure to check it out. And he creates very long-lasting, beautiful perfume oils, and the way I like to apply them is to put a little bit on my skin. This is going to be the only fragrance today I'll be wearing on my skin and then I can really rub it in and it is very very long lasting. Sometimes I like to apply a little bit on my hair too because you know there is no alcohol in there so it's going to be quite moisturizing and I will do that only on the end run it through and this way I will be able to smell hint of coconut with vanilla even tomorrow. So anytime I'll move, I will get the scent of tropical vacation because this oil smells very vanillic, very summery and sunny. Also, I would describe it as a yellow color because in there we have vanilla, we have lemon and we have pineapple. So it's not overly juicy, it has this dusty powderiness to it and a lot of white musk in the base. It's like layers and layers of powdery, vanillic and coconutty white musk. So I think that this is actually a very elegant coconut fragrance. It's not necessarily in this vacation mood. It's not like pina colada coconut, so if you don't like those and you would love something with coconut because it's a playful note, but you want it to be grown up and elegant, I definitely recommend you this one because mask in here is stronger than the coconut, but at the same time they are both very creamy. Mmm, delicious! Alrighty guys, next coconut is probably the most creative coconut perfume I've ever experienced and uh, I was really excited about the launch of this fragrance. I blind bought it and I'm very glad that I did. I even reviewed it in the bathroom naked because this fragrance is called Bubble Bath. And you guys, this is such a special perfume overall because it doesn't smell sweet like your typical coconut the way you are used to it. Instead, it smells really... Okay, you might be shocked, but yes, it smells soapy. <laughs> there is actually the note of soap. And I will spray this like three times. I'll be generous with it, but I won't go too heavy on it on my closing because it has this aldehydic top note and it's very fresh, it's clean. So what I really like about this perfume is the vibe of freshly washed laundry because of this aldehydic opening. It might seem quite sharp, however, as it dries down, it's very smooth and I find it's a very interesting, not typical coconut fragrance, so I highly recommend it for men and women because, in my opinion, it is absolutely unisex. But to complete this combination of, on the one side, powdery, musky, creamy, sweet, and on the other side, sharp and clean coconut, I want to with a floor 
floral coconut that is called Lace and it is by Sarah Baker. This perfume is like creaminess in the bottle. I will spray a little bit inside because that's my trick how to smell fragrance all day long then behind my ears so maybe a little bit on my head as well and now I'm literally in the coconut paradise because this one smells like coconut flowers if coconut had flowers that's exactly how they would smell it is really smooth it is fresh and at the same time it's sweet and floral so on myself I have now very creamy and delicious yummy I would call Mexico gourmet coconut and then at the same time I have something clean something that um, is really cleansing and refreshing that's bubble bath because you know it was designed as this relaxing fragrance to calm down with and then Lace is one of my OG favorites. I just find this fragrance is simple but so special and you know it's great for the summertime and it has amazing amazing performance because anytime I wear it I receive compliments for this perfume because it's attractive, it is fun and at the same time because it's so smooth and airy I find that it performs really well without overwhelming yourself and other people so it's great for the summertime for the warmer time of the year overall and I find that this particular coconut combination is very successful and you know although all three fragrances have note of coconut in them they smell very different so they add a lot to each other and wearing multiple perfumes at once will create more complex fragrance experience in the end anyway and I have a feeling many people have issues with coconut because it might remind some of suntan lotion and its scent can be too plain and simple for many of us but my choices are unique on their own and combined together they smell very interesting and although I don't really like to layer perfumes over each other I love to spray them on different parts of my body so they merge into each other seamlessly throughout the day however we could have fun for sure and just apply perfumes over each other kind of like on top so right now I have a little bit of oil it smells sweet and delicious very powdery and layering it with aldehydes will smell more sharp more clean more soapy for sure so that's very wow complex on its own but then if we put a little bit of lace that's kind of like the scent of delicate coconut it just puts together both very contrasting sides of these two perfumes and that's why I highly recommend you to check out this combination or one of these fragrances if you like coconut and of course I would like to know what's your most favorite fragrance with this note but if you are not a fan of it then please let me know why because that would be interesting to know as well I personally love coconut a lot because it can be pushed towards so many different directions directions and of course if you would like me to dedicate an entire best of episode to this note don't hesitate and let me know that in the commentary section as well as your feedback on today's video if you think that coconut fits summer season perfectly or not and where do you wear playful and fun coconut perfumes and of course if you had fun watching this one then please give it thumbs up it's gonna be the first sign for me that you liked it and of course feel free to subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on my social media all the helpful links are gonna be below I'm excited to hear from you and if there are any questions left I'm here to answer them for you and on that note thank you so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned and smell good we'll see each other next one really soon bye guys